just a little housekeeping. Close this door. Blocking the extra sound out. Uh, if you have blocks, you might want to grab them. I always think it's nice to have them available. You can have a seat on a block or just in a comfortable seat. Um, any seat's a good seat. We're going to go through Nadi Shodana. Uh, Nadi Shodana is nostril breathing. So we're going to take, it's called Vishnu Mudra. So with your right hand, take your pointer and middle finger and bring them to the base of your thumb. And if you want to leave the other palm open or closed on your thigh, you can. And to start, we're just going to take a deep inhale. And then you're going to bring your thumb to your right nostril and close that nostril. If you can close your eyes, it helps bring you in instead of being outwardly. Take the energy and exhale through the left nostril. Inhale through the left. Close off the left nostril. Exhale off the right. Inhale through the right. Close the right. Exhale left. Inhale left. Close the left. Exhale right. Inhale right. Close the right, exhale left. Inhale left. Close the left, exhale right. Inhale right. Close the right, exhale left. Inhale. Close left. Exhale right. Inhale right. Exhale left. Inhale left. This starts one round. Close left. Exhale right. Inhale right. Close the right. Exhale left. And that completes the round. So take just three more rounds on your own. to return to the neutral breath. Feel free to go there. Maybe one more round. Release your hands. Keeping the eyes closed, so really keeping the introspection, the self inquiry of where your body's at today, how you're feeling, maybe where are you mentally. And then when you're ready, you can stretch, release your hands. Stretch it back, the eyes open. Set a block underneath the hips, you can release that as well. 
And if you want, we're going to take our hands interlaced. Inhale right here at the heart. Feel the chest lift. As you exhale, push your palms forward, round through the back. Inhale, bring your arms up and start to arch back. And just going to turn to the side so you can see how more of the spine helps working. Exhale, round, push forward. In, bring the arms behind the ears as best you can. Find that cow spine to push the belly out, lift through the chest, and then exhale. Round and cat spine. In, open. Exhale, round. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. You can release and start to roll over the legs, coming on to all fours. And the fingers out and just pop the floor right to left, left to right. I like to keep the fingers on the floor and then just lift the palms just for that wrist flexion. Maybe you like to turn the fingertips out, right and left, or back to the knees. Moving all directions, even flipping the palms open to the face, letting the hips move maybe side to side, the spine, cat, and cow. You want to drop the heart down. Push the back. Feel a little side body action. And then I'd like you to curl your toes under. Sit back on the heels. This is really intense, so stay as long as you can. I realize that you might have to come out of it. If you need to come out, come back. You can, whenever you need. So with your toes curl under, I want you to bring the hands interlaced behind the back. Right thumb on top, draw all the knuckles down. And from here, just so you can see what's happening from the front, you're going to bring the bind over to the right hip, right ear, right shoulder. I just love this stretch. Really feel it in the side of the neck. Inhale through center, you're going to reset. So left thumb on top. Draw the knuckles down, lift through the chest, and then bring the bind over to the left side. Drop the left ear, left shoulder. Inhale through center. You can draw the knuckles down, lift the chest. And then come forward onto all fours. No matter if you've uncurled your toes or not, tap the tops of the feet down like this to release that energy. And then we're going to turn your fingertips back towards the knees. And you might just stay here. This is a really good stretch. You might be doing a lot for the forearms. If you want, you can push the heels with the hand, lift between the shoulders, kind of drop the tailbone down, engage the abs, stay, or option to add on the tops of the feet. Push to the floor, lift the knees off the mat. Hold this five, four, three, two, one, and release. Take it out of the hands. Good job. From here, we can step the right foot back. Stabilize. Reach the left arm forward. Thumb up, palm open. Stay here for a second. Gaze down to the earth, feeling this neck length neutralize. And I bring the right heel up to the height. Turn the right toes down to the earth to level the hips out. Push to the floor. If you feel these, notice that the ribs are splaying out. Draw them up to stabilize the spine. 
hold here for five, four, three, two, and then we're going to open to the side. So left arm out to the left, right foot out to the right, and we're going to hold here for just five, four, push up through that pinky toe edge in the foot, three, two, and then let the foot land out to the right side. So just so you can see what this looks like from the front. And then you're gonna inhale, sweep up with the left arm. Exhale, we're gonna thread the needle. Drop the ear and cheek to the back. The hand can be in front of the face, just push through the earth. Give yourself a little twist. Maybe reach that right arm forward. Slow, bring the hands back. Push up through center. Find the hands underneath the shoulders. So you should be here now. And then pick up the right leg. Sweep right foot all the way over and cross behind the left. Drop the right hip over and the shoulders to the left. So you're making this little C curve in the side body. And then inhale, come back to center. Right foot behind and exhale, drop the knee. Reach forward, right thumb up. Kick back with the left. So the toes can stay curled under on the floor. Stabilize here first. Grab those low ribs in. Push through the earth, lift between the shoulders. And then bring the left heel up to the tight. Toes stay turned down to the earth. Reach through your fingertips in the back heel. Just three, two. On exhale, we're gonna open to the side. So it comes out to the left, right arm out to the right. Stay here for five. Push to the earth, lift into the spine. Two, and then inhale back to center. Exhale, open to the side. Before I forget, drop that left foot out to the side. Reach the right arm up. Exhale, thread the needle. Dropping the ear and cheek to the mat. Push. Find the old twist here. Maybe reach this left arm forward. And slow, set the left palm underneath, in front of the face, underneath the shoulder, bringing the right palm back. We're gonna pick up the left toes and sweep them all the way around cross over the right side. So you can see what this looks like from the front. You're just crossing over with the left foot behind the right. Drop the shoulders over to the right. So you should feel a nice big stretch through this left side body. And hop back to center, exhale, back to all fours. From here, you can curl the toes under. Start to reach the heart forward and tilt the tailbone up like you're in cow pose. Draw the hips back if you want them to almost touch the heels, but not quite. And then exhale, round, slow, roll forward. Maybe even drop the hips a little bit. And then inhale, heart forward. Reach back through your sits bones, cow position. Exhale, round through the back, roll forward, dropping the hips in line with the knees. Inhale, reach up through the heart, reach back through the sits bones, cow, belly drops. Exhale, round, 
We're gonna do this two more times. Inhale, open the heart. Reach the sits bones back. Stretch. And then exhale, round, roll forward. Hips in line with the knees. Draw back through the hips with the belly drop. Heart forward. And then exhale, round. This time we're gonna inhale, come back and push back so much through the hips and knees naturally lift off the floor as you start to drop the heels down to the earth. Notice you can have that nice soft bend in the knees so your sit bones draw up to the sky, push away from the thumbs. Good. Stay here just three more breaths. Deep inhales through your nose. Exhale through the nose. Using that Navi Shodhana nostril breathing. We're gonna inhale up through the right toes. Exhale, step the right foot to the outside of the palm. Drop, left knee down. From here, pull the hips forward, maybe come up to the pads of the fingers, or a nice option too would be if you have the blocks. Push through the blocks and pull forward through the hips, shoulders back. Option to pull left heel into glute squeeze. Exhale, lower the foot. You're going to curl the toes. Push back through the left heel with or without the blocks. Your choice. And you're just going to step the left foot to the outside of the palm. So if your palms are on the earth, you step to the outside. So you can drop the hips into a yogi squat. If you need a block, a pillow underneath the hips, that's okay too. Or shins, elbows in, lift through the heart. And we're just gonna come up, bringing the hips in line with the knees, active squat. Exhale, Samasthi to heat. So stand all the way up. One big Nadi Shodhana breath. Inhale through the nose. Exhale. Inhale, reach up to the fingertips. Exhale. Lower the hips. Active squat. You can bring yourself down to your yoga squat. So elbows into shins, pose out. And then from here, we're going to find the hands to the earth. Step back with the right foot this time. So same thing we did on the right side. Just drop the knee down. Pull the hips forward. Maybe peek the fingers up. Come to your blocks. Whatever you need. And then pull. Right heel into glute squeeze. Without even reaching back. Just pull for an active stretch. Exhale. Curl the toes. On the right, push back through the heel, step, left foot to right, drop the knees if you haven't already, so you're in a modified plank. And we're going to take the chaturanga push back to the top, pulling the hips above the knees, drop the forearms, and we're going to inhale, roll forward onto our belly, nice and easy, nothing crazy. Hands by the rib cage. Push the tops of the feet down to the earth. Squeeze through the glutes. Deep in. Exhale, pull through your back muscles to lift up through the heart. Try to leave with less weight in the hands. As much as you can, you can try to hover them off the floor. Pull the navel up the spine. And then exhale. Lower back down. Back. Chin to chest, roll back. So you're coming into all fours, curl the toes, 
press. So it's both up, heels down. Inhale, left toes up. Exhale, hold the foot to the outside of the palm. Drop the right knee. Lift up through the heart center, pull the hips forward. And exhale, we're gonna pull back our Hanuman. Inhale, roll forward. Lift through the chest. Exhale, pull back through the hips. Ardha Hanuman. Inhale, roll forward. Exhale, pull back. Inhale, roll forward. Maybe weight into a block or the palm on the right. Inhale, up with the left. Reach back through your fingertips. You can stay here. You try to pull the right heel to the glute. You can grip the foot, completely optional. Pull the heel down to the glute. Let the hips drop forward. And then slow, come around, hands to the floor. Hello. My cat looking for some attention here. And then we're going to curl through the right toes, press back through the heel. So you bring the hips up so you can close to the floor and step to the outside of the palm, coming into the yoga squat with or without a block, your choice. Elbows and chin, push here. And we're gonna come up, active squat. Hold here for two breaths. And exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, reach up to the sky. Exhale, sink into that active squat and just stay for two breaths. So push out through the knees as best you can. Lift up through the chest. Feel the squeeze in the glutes. And then exhale, land the palms to the earth. Push and step back with the left foot. Drop the knee down. So same thing we did on the left side, we're gonna do on the right. Pull the hips back for Ardha Hanuman. Notice the foot can flex. Inhale, roll forward. Pull through the hips. Exhale, roll back. Inhale, roll forward. Exhale, roll back. Inhale, roll forward. Exhale, roll back. Inhale, roll forward. Exhale, roll back. One more time. Inhale. Exhale, pull through the Ardha Hanuman. Inhale, roll forward, let the hips sink. Land the left palm. So sweep right arm up and over. Reach for the space behind you and just try to pull. Left heel to glute. If you can get the grip to the foot, pull the heel down. Let those hips continue to sink forward. Good, slow exhale, bring it around. Curl through the left toes, press back through the heel, step. Right foot to left, option to drop the knees, or your feet in plank, your choice. Take the chat around the push. Knees and forearms land. Inhale, pull your way forward onto the belly again. Push through the tops of the feet, lift through the navel, squeeze through the glutes, take a deep in. Next up, pull up through your back muscles. Try to not use your hands to lift. Hold here for three, two, and one. Stay here, we're gonna try it again. This time, reach the hands back, so palms face the floor. Deep inhale. Exhale, push the tops of the feet, reach back through the fingertips. So feel the fingertips help pull you up. And then exhale, lower down. Hands by the rib cage. Tuck the chin under. And you can start to feel the body roll back. 
you can reach the heart forward, curl the toes. Just push through the heels of the hands, back through the heels of the feet, and feel the hips lift to the sky. Good job, yogis. Inhale, gaze forward to the top of the mat. We're just going to walk our feet up between the palms. Soft bend in the knees. Let your torso fall over the thigh. You can wiggle the feet out about hip width distance. We're going to go for Pada Hastasana or Pagani Hastasana. The difference, Pada Hastasana, is where you slide the hands under to meet the soles of the feet. Or pull down the stuff You take the peace fingers, you wrap around the big toe, and you push down. Let the head fall forward. Let the elbows go out. Stay here, just one more breath. Push through those big toes, lift through the sits bones. Remember, you can always keep that slight bend in the knees. And then inhale, halfway up to the knees. I like to wiggle the feet back together to come up for chair. You're just gonna drop the hips and sweep the fingertips down and lift yourself up. Do you keep the hips low? Into the chair. Good. And then exhale, sun, deep to heat. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, sink back through the chair. Squeeze through your inner thighs. Feel your hip bones kind of push forward. Lift through the heart. And then exhale, we're going to gently fold. Bend the palms to the earth and just start to walk. You can tiptoe the feet back to that high plank. You can kind of come through down dog way forward if you like. Option to drop the knees. Take the time around the push. Pull the hips back, land the forearms, inhale, pull the way forward towards the belly. We're going to go for a, a little lotus here. So just like we did before, push through the tops of the feet, reach back through the fingertips, inhale, exhale, pull up. Stay for two. Last breath. Inhale. Exhale, find the hands, tuck the chin, roll up, all fours. Inhale, draw the heart forward, curl the toes, pull the hips back. And feel that shift. The dropping the heels down, the sits bones up, and up. Inhale, right toes up to the sky. You can stay here. You can stack the hip and his knee, open the side body. Push away from the earth with the thumb. Inhale, reach through the toes. Exhale, pull the knee to the nose and set the foot to the top of the mat. Drop the back heel down. Inhale, cartwheel the arms up. Warrior two. Stay here. Find that deep bend into the front knee. It's easy to want to come out of it. You want to try to create the 90 degree angle here. Push to the outside edge of the left. And reverse the warrior shift up and back. Inhale through center. From here, exhale slow. Cartwheel the left palm down. Flip the 
right heel up, drop heel down. So notice we're just moving towards the right side. So the toes are opening out to the right. You might slide the leg out to give yourself space. This back heel drops. We're just going to open and twist. Push to the floor. And then slow, come back. Flipping the left heel up. Maybe right hand in front of the toes. Forearm to thigh. Sweep. Left arm up and over. Extended side angle. So if you need the hand down to the shin, this is also a great spot for a block. And I would say to the outside of the leg. So then you can feel the leg push into your arm, which is what you want. If you're drawing forward, this is really hard on that hip joint. And then inhale, pushing down to the right big toe. Pull yourself up and reverse Trigonasana. Inhale up to center. Shift the hips back. Maybe a slight bend in the knee as you pull forward to the right fingertips. And then find a block or the top of the shin, like this too, or even the top of the leg, depending on where you're at. Notice you don't want the hips in, you want to keep them stacked. So even if your spine isn't parallel, you just want your spine long. Hips stacked. Maybe reach up to the sky with the left. I need a big power for prana. <laughs> Inhale. Exhale, sink deeper into those feet. Push away from the earth. And then inhale back. Cartwheel the hand down around the foot plank. Push through the earth. Slide. Just take the right foot back. High plank from high or from the knees. Chaturanga push. Knees and forearms drop. Inhale, pull forward to the belly. Finding the lotus. Push down to the hips, tops of the feet. Deep inhale. Exhale, lift up to the chest. And lower. And by the rib cage, tuck the chin into the chest. Roll to all fours. Roll the toes. Reach the heart forward. Pull the hips back. By that lift to the knees, press back through the heels and up through the hips. Inhale, left toes up. Press down to the right heel as best you can. Stay here. Stack the hip, bend the knee, open the side body. And then inhale, reach through the toes. Exhale, tiger curl. Pull the knee into the nose. Step the foot between the palms. Ready, drop the back heel down. Pull apart, roll the arms up. Warrior two. Push down into the earth. It's like you're pulling your feet apart or you're splitting the mat. Deeper bend into the front knee. And then reach forward, exhale, reverse the warrior. Keeping the bend in the front knee, you're just lifting away from the hips. Inhale to center. Exhale to curl all the hands down. So you're landing the weight into the right. Notice the back heel lifts. You can wiggle this left foot out if you need space. And reach up to the sky, open, take a little twist. The foot can stay forward or open out if you know where your hips are today. Stay here for just two more reps. Flow. Come around. Square the hips forward. Drop the back heel. Bring your right hand up and over. So a nice big circle if you need to grab a block with the left, you can reach up and over. 
So again, where you can place the forearm on the thigh if you need a little extra space. Pinky finger down, thumb up on the right. And then inhale, pull yourself up to center. Think about pushing away with the left big toe. Reverse Trigonasana. Inhale through center, finding the Trigonasana. A little bit of a bend, pull back through this left hip. Land the hand to the top of the shin or a block. Maybe circle the right arm up and around. You can reach to the side or maybe even drop the hand behind the back of the box. Release the hand out. Exhale, slow go around. And swing the foot and just slide this left foot back to knee straight. Roll forward to a high plank. Maybe drop the knees. Chaturanga, push back to the top. Bellies back, drop the forearms. Inhale, pull forward onto the belly. Draw the navel up to the spine. Push to the tops of the feet. Reach through the fingertips. Hold here for five, four, three, two, on one. Exhale, tuck the chin, full roll to all fours, curl the toes, reach the heart forward, roll the lift, knees as you keep pushing the hips up to the sky and go down through the heels. Mm -hmm. Good. Pushing away, lifting higher up through the hips. Stay one more breath. Inhale through the nose. Now you show the nose. Exhale up the nose. And then inhale, right toes up. Exhale, pull the right foot forward between the palms. This is the great spot for some blocks. What you want is your right foot at the center of the mat, left foot directly behind. And from here, we're just going to let the foot on the right roll out and the knee roll out to the side. So your hips are going to be allowed to drop. And then inhale, roll to center. We're going to do that just a couple more times. Roll the knee out, let the hips drop. And then inhale, back to center. Exhale, roll out, let the hips drop. And then inhale, back to center. Last one, then let's hold right here. So push back through the left heel. It's going to feel like a lot for your muscles. Just the muscles. So squeeze muscles to bones on the left. Work into the hips on the right. And then drop the back knee. So the left knee is going to land. You can push away with the hands on the floor as well. And we're going to start to wiggle that right foot over. So make them all the way back by the hip. We're going for pigeon pose. Very familiar, right? We've all been here before. You can use your blocks. Maybe this right one underneath the hip, or the left one between the heel and the thigh. Working a little bit more into that flexibility. Options come down to the forearms. Maybe stack the fists, so interlace the fists, stack throughout the forehead, or use a black. Uh, 
find the lift through the front body. And you're gonna release the blocks if you have them. And bring your weight over to the right side. So you can sweep your left foot around to the top of the mat. You're gonna bring this right foot to the inside of the thigh. Johnny Shushasana. So you're just gonna inhale up through your chest. Exhale, hold over the thigh. Hands can be at the shin, the floor, or the foot. Think about using these muscles in your quads to pull back with the femur bone. As you pull forward, using your abs to lengthen yourself out. One more breath. Inhale as you rise. You're going to drop this left hand to the inside of the leg. So it can come to the shin, it can come to the foot, any order. And you're going to reach. So notice you're turning to open to the right side. Push down through the right hip as you reach up and over. Not about touching your toes, more about finding space and stretching this right side of the body. Inhale, pull yourself up. So you're gonna land this right hand behind your low back. Turn right knee up to the sky. It can cross the center line, so over to the left side. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, left elbow to the outside of the thigh. Take a twist. Look over the right shoulder. And then slow unwind. Release the arms. So you're bringing your hands over to the left side. It should be about shoulder width distance. You can use your blocks if you need. You want a little extra space. You're going to push to the floor, sweep left foot out. So you're coming to a wide leg stretch. You can just grab opposite elbows and let yourself sway, hang heavy. Slight bend in these knees. Bring the hands behind the back, interlace. Get close up to get from the palms and pull up through the knuckles. And then maybe drop them overhead. Push down through your big toes. Inhale, pull yourself up through the knuckles, coming all the way up. Hands can come to the hips. You can turn your toes out. And we're going to sink into goddess pose. So sink down through the hips. Try to bring the hips in line with the knees. Maybe you need to rest your hands either lower on the hips or maybe to the thighs. But notice if you come to the thighs, you're not leaning forward in the chest, keeping the shoulders stacked above the hips. Stay here for three. Two. On this last one, push through the feet, lift tall. So we're going to start to pivot towards the top mat. Notice the feet, if they stay in the same spot, they're just pivoting around. So maybe take this little action with me. You're just moving the feet. We're going to come all the way around. If you need to bring the hands to the floor, that's okay. You're going to drop left knee first. Option to take a block underneath the hips. Right knee is going to stack on top. So just so you know what that looks like, stay where you are. On the front, you have both knees stacked, or you have one foot to the outside of the thigh. So either one foot to the outside of the thigh or both knees stacked. 
Inhale, arms up. Exhale, let's take the twist to the right. Bring everything out. Think about inhaling up through the spine. Exhale, let that air go. I'm just going to turn back so I'm facing the same direction you guys are. So I can also explain how you get out of this position. So if you guys are here, you're going to bring your hands back to the top of the mat. Push through the feet as you come back around, hands to hips. Got it. You can slide the hands to the knees. This time we're just gonna drop the shoulder in. Push the knees away from each other. Inhale the center, exhale, drop left shoulder in. Inhale up, straighten the legs out, come tall, turn the toes forward to the side of the mat, hands to the hips, forward fold. Grab opposite elbows, sway a little bit side to side, get heavy through that torso. And then walk the hands to the top of the mat. Slide, right foot back to left, down dog. Good job. Inhale, left toes lift. Exhale, bring the foot to the top of the mat. This is again that great spot for the blocks. And we're just going to make sure that the left foot is at the center of the mat, right foot is directly behind. And we're going to roll to the outside edge of the foot, letting the hips drop here. And then inhale, roll to center. Exhale, roll out with the hips drop. So this left knee is going out, the right heel is pressing back. Inhale to center. Exhale, roll out with the hips drop. Inhale, roll to center. Two more. Roll out with the hips drop. Inhale, roll to center. Exhale, roll out with the hips drop. Hold here for three. Push back through that right heel. Those muscles to bones. Two. And the last one, bend the knee, drop the right knee down. Start to wiggle the left foot over to the right hip. So, notice this left knee, you want to try to pull it out if you can. It might just depend on your flexibility and where you're at with your knees today. You can place a block either underneath this left glute or between the thigh and the heel on the right side. Inhale up through your chest. Exhale, option to come down, forearms on a block, forearms on the floor. You can stack the hands. Stay here, just one more breath. We're going to start to walk the hands up, open through the front body, let the hips drop forward to the right side, or the left side, my bad. Drop over to the left, sweep <laughs> that right foot around to the top of the mat. So your left foot is coming to the inside of the thigh this time. John Nusha Chakra. Inhale, lift up through the chest. Exhale, fold over the thigh. Hands can land here on the mat. 
chin to the foot. Think about pulling the femur bone back into the hip socket as you use your abs to pull you Inhale up. Exhale, we're going to drop the right hand to the inside of the leg. So anywhere it lands, that's fine, even if it's a little closer to the knee or the ankle, doesn't matter. Sweep the left arm up and over, push down to the left hip, reach towards the toes. So try not to let that shoulder collapse in. Keep the shoulders stacked, open through the side body. And inhale, come all the way up. Land the left hand behind the back. Turn, left knee up to the sky. Cross over the center line. Inhale, lift. Exhale, right elbow to the outside thigh. Twist. From here, we're going to slow release. Remember, this is where we're going to bring both hands to the right side of the mat, shoulder width distance, push through the floor, slide the right foot wide, wide leg stretch. We can grab opposite elbows here, let ourselves hang forward. Soft bend in those knees. One more breath. Hands to hips, inhale, pull yourself up. Turn the toes out, heels in, sink into the hips, God is close. Hands can get lower on the hips, rest on the thighs, just keep the shoulders stacked above the hips. And then push out of the feet. We're going to turn towards the top of the mat. Remember, the feet stay where they are. You can have the hands to the floor. Or you can just drop the right knee and then the left, sink the hips down. If it's easier, bring that left foot to the outside of the right knee so the knee points up. Otherwise, go for the golden kasana. Knees stack. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, take that twist. Inhale, up to center. Good. Exhale, you can bring the hands around to the top of the mat and walk this out so you just start to unwind or push through the outside edges of the feet. Come back around to that goddess pose. Stay for one whole breath. And lay down, legs, turn the toes forward, forward fold. Grab opposite elbows, just sway back and forth like a grandfather clap. And walk the hands to the top of the mat, bend into the front knee, push through the palms, slide left foot back to right. And then we're going to tiptoe our feet up to the top of the mat. So our feet come between our palms. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Option. Releve to the heels. Sink the hips down. Pointing the knees forward. So you can have the hands to box here if it helps. We're just going to lean back through our shoulders, 
And our knees are just naturally gonna soft. The more you lean back, very softly gonna drop to the floor. You have to trust a little bit. So if it feels a little scary at first, it's okay. Everybody's been there. And we're gonna take a little circle camel. So reach the right hand back and the left arm overhead, push the hips forward, inhale to center. Exhale, switch sides. Left hand reaches back for the heel, right arm reaches overhead, inhale to center. Exhale, reach, inhale center. Exhale, reach, inhale center. One more. Exhale, reach, inhale center. And stretch. Center. Sit back to your heels. And the more you lean back, it'll allow the knees to lift. From here, we can catch your hands to the floor and start to draw the heels down to the earth. As best you can, use blocks if you need to steady yourself. But from here, we're gonna land, hips soft to the earth. And notice the feet can slide forward, making it more of a yin. Baddha Konasana, let the knees drop out, grab the feet, and exhale forward. Inhale up, wrap the knees in together, feet flat to the floor, reach forward, take the big in, lengthen through the spine, exhale, all the air out. Round to the back, come back one vertebrae at a time. Arms up and over the head. Walk the heels in towards the glutes. So really gentle here. Nothing crazy. You're just gonna push through the feet. Take a deep in, reach to the fingertips. As you exhale, wrangle your arms down and just push your hips up to the sky. Inhale, lower the hips, reach the arms overhead. Exhale, bring the hands down to the side, lift the hips. Inhale, overhead. Exhale, lower the arms to the sides, push the hips up. Inhale, arms overhead, hips lower. Two more. Exhale, hips up, arms down to the sides. Inhale, hips lower, arms overhead. One more. Exhale. Hold here for five, four, push your big toes and heels, three, two, and one, slow up and over the head in. Exhale, pull the knees into the chest. Give yourself a nice little hug here. You can rock back and forth, maybe come into a little happy baby. I like to rock so I can tap the knees. So you might rock a lot, you might rock a little. Hold the feet come together, press the knees out. And then let the pinky toe edges of the feet land and the knees lay wide if you want to the body come off of that. Otherwise, you can send the legs out completely. Shavasana. Give you one hand on the belly, one hand on the heart. And you can stay here. Or just to close off the class and you roll to the side and come up to a seated. But if you want to stay in Shavasana, you can do this from Shavasana. So, one hand to belly, one hand to heart if you're in Shavasana. If you're up and seated, hands to prayer. We're going to say one ohm together in three Shanti, Shanti, Shantis. So take a deep inhale, eyes closed. Exhale. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. 
Shanti. Peace, peace, peace. Thank you all for joining me tonight. It's such an honor and a blessing to go through this practice with you. I'm so honored. Namaste.